Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to the 14th DCTV23 weekly update show on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Cobb and Douglas Public Health issued a public health alert due to a substantial rise in daily confirmed positive COVID-19 cases in Cobb and Douglas County. Per guidelines from the health department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. To read the full alert, go to CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of July 9th, Douglas County has 1,179 confirmed cases of COVID-19. And sadly, 37 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Please note, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has moved its testing site from Hunter Park to the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. This drive-through site is free and open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Also, as of July 8th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 4,000 people. Remember, anyone can be tested, regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org. Again, that's cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if you go somewhere else, it may not be free. Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones has decided to launch a new educational campaign to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 by providing mask recommendations for Douglas County residents to wear a mask or face covering while in public. You should expect to see visuals from this campaign, as we mentioned last week, in the next 30 days on billboards and signs around the county. Also, Douglas County has received about 20,000 masks from the state for citizens to pick up. These masks are free and available at government facilities such as the Douglas County Courthouse, Boundary Waters, the Aquatic Center, Libraries, and the Transportation Center for Connect Douglas. Please, all masks are required. Citizens will be able to receive them if they prove their residence via their driver's license or verbally acknowledge. Last week, Douglas County School System announced plans to safely reopen schools amid COVID-19, with the first day being August 10th. Also, the school system has provided three options for the new academic year. For full details, go to dcssga.org. As we continue to navigate through this coronavirus pandemic, the Douglas County Commission Chair, Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, wishes to remind citizens of the importance of wearing a face covering when in public. While an increase in testing does result in more positive tests, there is evidence of community spread there has been a noticeable decline in people wearing masks as the coronavirus pandemic continues. So please follow state, public health, and CDC guidelines to help in slowing the spread of the virus. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.